Hey folks, I'm Father Sanpathik from CG Virus here. Today we're going to show you our version 2 of Natron Lens Layer Toolkit. So this is the version 2. Uh, we got some updates and uh, we're going to demonstrate it. Uh, so the lens fair studio toolkit is basically you know uh, a studio uh, where you can make your own lens fair uh, for your vfx projects and motion graphics projects we have given you some parameters uh, you can change it uh, without you uh, without any coding you can make your presets so which is great so we're going to talk about these updates first and uh, then i will stitch the you know our previous tutorial because these are pretty much same actually uh, i will just you know focus on the updates uh, in this session and uh, then i will edit them as well so yeah mm, so so that you know people will uh, find it integrated so yeah so let's see how to install it and where from where you have to download it okay let's get started uh, we are now uh, make, uh, adding our plugins uh, in uh, community plug for Natron. Okay, I'm going to link it to the description. Um, uh, the benefit of this community uh, plugin repository is basically, you know, you will get lots of, lots of, loads of plugins for Natron here. So it will be much more better for the community to, you know, get everything out of the box. So that would be much more better so we are uh, you know uploading uh, our presets and uh, plugins also here and our old branch old repository is always open you can um, uh, use that as well but uh, this one uh, i think this one will be much more you know convenient so yeah this is one and uh, now uh, you can download the zip file and i'm going to download it and i'm coming back all right so after downloading the zip file just extract it somewhere safe all right now let's go to the folder you will get lots of things so press ctrl l or whatever you know just copy the path now let's go to natron i'm going to close it here yep let's go to natron now let's go to the edit preference go to the plugins let's remove this guy press add and let's go to the plugin section open it here save it number one is done now let's go to the shutter toy here we go and in image shutter you will get this preset directory just copy this ctrl c copy uh, uh sorry open a new explorer and go to your preset directory now in our extracted uh folder you will get a shadow type folder what you need to do is basically go there Control a Control c copy and in our default preset directory just Control v paste replace everything or whatever merge everything or whatever okay and i'm coming back okay it's been copied now if you go there you will see all of our community plus official shadow toy uh, frag and jlsl uh, shadow cell also you will see this shadow toy text which has been merged with our community plugins community elements community shadows and also you will get your lens flare so you don't have to copy paste uh, in the previous way so you know copy paste the things in previous way so yeah it will be much more convenient so that's it so now what do you need to do close natron and i'm opening it again okay so now you will get all of your natron plugins all of your natron plugins here and you will see that we have uh, this is called the community plugin okay community and here you will see your lens layer we have lots of lens layer we have two type of presets light presets which are basically very light let me show you one very light okay light presets and uh, let's go to let's fair again like presets suppose we have devil eye okay so this one let's do let this guy okay and devil eye okay you will see lots of good presets here so work with it and then we have suppose 
um, prism and lots of you know uh, just uh, just see what can be done here so yeah and uh, the other things are pretty much same pretty much same yeah we have optimized it a little bit so you know you can always uh, change your parameters and things like that so yeah so you can do it like that okay now let's go to the shadow toy let's see what has been changed here so in shadow toy <laughs> you will get lots of things now in preset you will see lens layer lots of things okay lots of lens layers we have uh, made um, you know uh, lots of uh, elements here as well and there is a very good one that is called the textured light textured light is basically um, a textured shutter which you can use oh by the way the preset templates the preset templates are our previous templates we made for uh, at startup okay so they are there and uh, you can use these preset templates to make uh, more new presets okay these are very heavyweight and our heavyweight presets so yeah you can use it for that so now we're going to attach our old tutorials and uh, let's see uh, you know uh, I will I will demonstrate the updates in appropriate places so let's see all right so we are back and uh, let's see let's start with uh, working with players so we will start with our most favorite tiers of steel so we're going to make some parallax uh, you know uh, you know uh, uh, parallax lens flare so let's do it like tap and then go to flare we already have a parallax flare so flare parallel there we go let's see how does it look like so here it is so this is the parallel flare okay so we're going to work with it uh, let's save it control shift s and let's name it logo there we go yep all right so what you have to do is basically pretty easy go to march note pressing m uh, go here uh, for plus or you can use screen b for background and a for our list layer so let's go here one and you can see already it is there okay so first thing first is basically uh, select this guy you will see your mouse pointer here and what you need to do is basically maximize this guy and here we go so it is here now and we can see our tears of steel so let's animate it a little bit so let's go here and uh, let's go to one let's use a global scale of zero there we go let's set a key now here we will uh, make it here appear appear here and we can go for something like let's let's go here actually now uh, let's go to yeah this guy and let's use this guy here and we're going for one there we go so it be like a feather oh sorry we we didn't do the mouse matter here so let's go here and let's do it like this i'm going to set key in position okay yeah position and then let's go here and let's position it somewhere here uh yeah and then let's go there somewhere and let's do a position yeah. you know basic stuff basic animations and stuff like that so yeah it's already been done we used to do it in after effect you know set key animation all the time anyway uh so yeah mm, and here we can you know global skill zero there we go so that is the first one we can use some global rotation if you want to but i'm not going to uh, press o to overlay and press uh, you know c at by ourselves so we can colorize it a little bit i'm just demonstrating uh, how to work with it you know so there we go it's okay yeah 
So now let's see. Okay. Uh, let's color it a little bit tint blue. Something like that. Yep, it will be good. So something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, if you <coughs> want to modify this, modify these stops. What you need to do is basically go here. You have to maximize it here press all and then go to this group expand it here okay then unlock this guy now we have opened the whole possibilities for making changes suppose uh, uh, suppose suppose we need some sun flare to be you know may, uh, we need to make it much more bigger what we need to do is basically go to this gear and remove animation on all parameters uh, here and it will be done then you can you know scale it up a little bit something like that still why okay anyway so scale it here somewhere here uh, maybe we need to modify it I don't know somewhere here I have not planned anything uh, how to do this tutorial so yeah just you know play with it and have a look hmm. similar like that you can even change your colors I know so you can change your colors or even you can add some uh, uh, elements so something like you know if I need uh, something else so control C and control V then go here and uh, you know just uh, tweak it a little bit uh, maybe uh, we need some kind of elements something like uh, I'm not sure uh, what we may need is hmm anamorphic maybe some anamorphic here yeah. I know so we can go thickness and uh, recount if we want to okay and maybe ray depth uh, a little bit a little bit of ray depth and maybe some kind of parallax yeah something like that yeah, so something amazing can be done without any problem okay so there we go now let's place it um place it somewhere let's go to the top yeah let's see what we have here yeah all right pretty cool you can change lots of stuff I have uh, already covered uh, uh, how to make presets how to adjust things uh, we have already covered that because it's a very huge thing to cover we cannot cover it <laughs> in one tutorial of course so uh, you can watch it or you can watch that uh, for more information okay so yeah so we can make lots of stuff here lots of stuff uh, it's actually you know kind of infinite from my perspective yeah, let's use glimmer I'm just uh, giving you some you know some uh, perspective how to work with it and uh, how to deal with this stuff anyway so um, hmm. something like that Uh, let's use anamorphic that was cool right so mm, thickness mm, count 
Okay. Yeah. I think that was cool, so let's do it like that. Let's have some fun. Yeah. Pretty cool. So uh, that's how you can work with it. If you want to save a preset, uh, I have uh, covered it in the preset section. Just watch it. Uh, there are some things you have to understand first. So, yeah, watch it and it will be beneficial. All right. So now uh, let's, um, let's close this and let's close this as well. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay it has been swapped so let's uh, go to layout this to default there, there we go. let's save it less and why we were doing it uh, like that you know maximizing this thing because if you want to see the gizmo you have to uh, make it present anywhere anywhere in your desktop otherwise let's see otherwise it will not work suppose I'm going here uh, yeah and suppose I have this then we have this mouse position but not this guy so that's why you have to maximize it somewhere here then uh, edit your preset edit your preset so then you will get your uh, things okay so I'm just going to uh, oops okay I'm just going to here and I uh, know that's it so first one is done so let's close it close it here close it control s save okay so this one is done mm. yeah that works pretty good uh, let's control s save and let's go to a new project or uh, whatever let's close it and we're going to start working on another thing let's see all right so now we're going to work with this guy and uh, we will see uh, how to use grid grid elements all right so if you uh, uh, if you know us that we did some um, uh, blender lens flare as well before uh, so uh, uh, there were some textures we collected from blend swap uh, from Sirfig win so uh, these were uh, on his assets so we're going to use uh, this lens dart or something like lens dart yeah let's use this this one is pretty cool so we're going to use use this texture uh, for grid purpose so let's open it here and yeah mm -hmm. so what is grid is basically you know some camera dart so you can use any kind of texture you know you can use dart and scratches kind of uh, stuff we have not done any GLSL for that yet but we have masking system so we're going to use that and for this session we're going to use let's see which one we're going to use I'm not sure uh, let's use Sun yeah let's use Sun let's see what it is so this is our Sun okay we're going to use that and you can see in each uh, in each <laughs> flare sorry in each flare we have suppose flare parallel so in each flare we have a grid texture input which is basically the texture input for grid so we're going to use that and these dart texture is 960 by 540 so we need something like uh, HD full HD so 1920 and 1080 so what we're going to do is basically going for a reformat and uh, we're going to make it HD and 1080 here we go now it's a full HD all right so we're going to use that uh, you can actually plug it in here so let's see let's plug it in here and now you will start to see 
uh, the dart just go here let's break it break it there we go uh, here you will see the grid so let's enable it let's uh, remove animation because we don't need that so if I'm going to the threshold you will start to see brightness if we go to the brightness uh, the treasure you can see some dart has already been started let's see you can see some light spots here okay so what we can do here is basically go to the node graph and we can use some color correction so please CC color correct there we go we can use gain to make it much more visible uh, we can use contrast and whatever you want to and if I'm going to the flare Sun in grid section we can now modify the threshold a little bit you know brightness a little bit threshold so you know you can adjust it uh, even we can use offset if we want to you know gamma and where it is somewhere here so we can use that as well not a problem so I will try to build a texture slot for this so let's see okay now if I'm going to oops hmm. if I'm going to um, let's see uh, if I'm going to make the core size a little bigger like global scale you can see you will see your dart okay yeah and if you want to you know uh, make the stuffs more interesting you can do lots of stuffs here so threshold we can down the threshold a little bit we can brighten it up a little bit okay adjust it with a test and with your need I have given uh, the presets with basic stuffs so uh, so that people can you know engage with lots of stuffs but I will make some uh, uh, more presets of course because we need it actually I I don't uh, <laughs> I don't uh, you know uh, I, 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 I'm working with you know people with lots of stuff so I have to give them lots of presets so something like you know 20 presets has to be made but this is the initialization so yeah so you can see your grid here okay anyway so let's go to the node graph and uh, let's start merging it merging uh, stuff so let's go to the B a there we go one and let's make it plus plus there we go so here should be our stuff here and we're using grid so let's use a global scale somewhere here we will talk about the tracker as well we have the tracker capability not a problem you can see here track position so we're going to talk about that as well so let's use some colorization uh, uh, some reddish color things like that I think we need more grid there we go and more contrast there we go anyway so let's see um let's go here hmm. it's already there so let's use set key and position set key and maybe out there somewhere we can use this and let's use global scale here a little bit there we go and uh, i don't like the color mm, yeah this is the blue wish tone i love blue there we go you can also you know colorize the stuff here so let's use set key and let's use some kind of uh, yellow and let's use here uh, let's use some kind of uh, blooming stuff so it is that as well uh, yeah all right so let's play it and let's see
mm, I think I like blue just to show you things I don't nothing biggie okay now let's see let's press O to unmouse it overlay off and here you can see lots of brilliance there you go all right even you can make the animation swift with interpolation you can go to smooth it will make it awesome of course so uh, you know use your basic stuff here yeah um, you can use linear to make it continuously going to change here and there so yeah lots of stuffs can be done we can even change some here and saturations maybe <laughs> I'm, I'm going crazy here uh, just you know just uh, stuffs so yeah bit amazing there we go that's it that's my boy all right so yeah that's how you can use your grid remember to plug it in here okay so this is your grid okay and this is your grid and uh, if you want to adjust it you can go to your group section here at the last you will see a grid you can I know facial stuff if you want to facial stuff you know. so yeah you can do it also if you need to see it much more clearly you should use a color correction node uh, and you know you can do lots of stuff with it you know it's the possibility is infinite so do it all right all right so now let's see how to work with our new uh, lens flare elements sorry not shadow toy let's go here mm, lens flare uh, let, let's go to light flare I'm going for double I suppose press one so we're going to talk about uh, how to use texture elements here so let's see so let's go to group note and now suppose uh, we need some texture element so first thing first is basically if your project is 8k oh sorry <laughs> if your project is 4k then you should probably need um, uh, 8000 by 8000 uh, texture okay so these textures are basically you know if I'm going to uh, you can see that these are basically square textures use square textures whenever you can okay so this is the first uh, thing you have to understand and these are pretty much uh, low resolution textures um, you know the 720 by 720 is standard kind of a standard for 640 by 480 type of uh, or 19 to, um, uh, 720p type of uh, you know projects it is not a standard um, you need to make your uh, own um, what it says uh, sports or whatever uh, you know elements in Photoshop or you know any kind of editing program and then use it uh, also if you want to use some vector type of uh, program like Illustrator or Inkscape yep that would be much more better because those are resolution free so yeah there are lots of chances so uh, let's see how we can use it I'm just you know demonstrating this kind of uh, these things so I'm going to use this Arctic circle all right so first of all what we have to do is basically all C or control C control V whatever so all C and then let's connect it control yeah there we go so now let's go to the MIRIS properties uh, it is not um, mandatory to be MIRIS uh, it could be any one so not a problem you know sun glimmer whatever you know just copy one note all right then go to the image shader and then in the lens flare elements we're going for textured light this guy boom so now instantly you will get a link texture elements property all right so what we can do I'm going to use this arctic circle so let's drag it here so now you can see that it has been squeezed why press s and go to uh, the output format and uh, change it to 1920 or whatever your project format is so there we go okay it will not be happen it will not happen if we had some uh, you know project already there you know some footage or something like that 
all right as it doesn't have any kind of footage it is shrinking so not a problem all right <sighs> let's go to this guy here and now you can see our arctic circle here so if i'm going to global scale you can see it shrinks up shrinks down yeah whatever so press one now let's go to the the table here we go so uh this one so let's uh let's change some parameters here uh let's scale x we can scale it up scale it down okay scale it up scale it down we can also use brightness okay brightness we can change the color and the usual stuffs we can rotate it as well if you want to uh, so if you want to scale it uniformly just press 2 and 2 something like that no no it will be scaled up scaled down also we have offset offset is basically you know you can offset your thing here so yeah if you're using a uh, square format the 0.5 and 0.5 that is the default value so we can use uh, reset to default uh, whatever and then set the key all dimension yeah uh, so <coughs> the default value is 0.5 and 0.5 which is basically the center of our mouse position all right but uh, if you are using some kind of anamorphic or weird ratios you know um, then you can <laughs> adjust it but I don't recommend it uh, always try to use a square format all right so 0.5 and 0.5 and then uh, this kind of stuff okay number one number two number two you can use multiple uh, multiple notes as well so for that you can use a march note go to b uh, just connect it here and link glsl should be in march now we can merge our notes as well um uh, i don't know uh, let's, let's use this yeah so yeah so it has already been attached here uh we cannot see it because uh we have to disable some for uh, okay that is uh, uh let's use some bright spots or visible spots something like glimmer uh, though we have a very rich glimmer we don't need that so yeah uh, so uh, yeah you can see that here so what about resolution is basically you know if i'm going to global scale you can see already it has been pixelated okay which is not uh you know good so use uh, some you know a uh, good resolution uh, this is one another one what you can do is basically not to use the margin at all we can you know just all see and uh, we can join them together there you go and uh, then we can you know just link the jlsl element here yep that could be done uh, I don't recommend it because uh, it's making <laughs> lots of nodes. It will be slow. Yeah, yeah. So something like that. You can see the pixelation, pixelation problem here. So yeah, so that's the demo. All right. And now back to the old tut. All right. So we're now going to work with tracker. Track. So, uh, first thing first is basically let's go for tr some tracking. So, what we need to do is basically go for our track tracker tracker. Let's go for some source. There we go. This one. And now we're going to create a tracker here. So let's do it like that. Tracker. There we go. Okay. So now, um, just track it. So let's just play forward, and I'm going back. All right, the track is done, and good track, very good track. Okay, not a problem. So let's go to this transform in Tracker, Tracker properties transform. Going for match move, going for transform, and voila. All right, so. Uh, that's that uh, we don't need to export anything if you want to you can but we are not going to of course and uh, let's go to mm -hmm. let's go to flare <coughs> which one we will need 
I'm not sure. Uh, just just go for something. Uh, let's go for toxic. Okay. And then if we see it here, here is a toxic, the most extreme one. Uh, let's turn it a little bit. All right. So uh, what we need to do here is basically go to the tracker and um, copy this translate x all right or uh, what is, whatever it is translate xy so let's copy this value right click copy copy link all dimension okay now let's go to one um hmm. and in track position xy track position right click paste link all dimension yep that's it so now we have our animated tracker all right so now just simply go to um, march note press m go to a plus sorry mm -hmm. plus go for background this guy and uh, a this guy press one there we go so you can see the tracker is fixed but not yet fixed so just double click this guy and now you can pretty easily just you know fix it wherever you want there we go that's it press o and let's see yeah it's going cool okay no problem just colorize it a little bit I know. Let's colorize it a little bit here. Yeah. Mm. I think a goldish color would be great. There we go. Uh, okay. Let's let's have some fun. So let's introduce <coughs> something more interesting. So let's go to sun. Okay. Remove animation. Okay done if I'm going to threshold yeah we can do some awesome stuff with it so let's rotation let's go to rotation there you go and let's go to scale X oops not this guy uh, let's use something like this awesome yep I like it and we can use hardness yep and let's scale y okay let's rotate it uh here this is much more fun there we go Let's use something like this. Okay. Right. Yeah, that was better. So let's use that. Rotation. Uh, hardness. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's use rotation. <laughs> yeah. Rotation. Threshold. We're going to use that. Let's scale X zero. There we go. It's cool. Let's use skill Y. Let's go to hardness and there we go. So like that. Recount. There we go. So tap in this. Funny thing. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. So we can use lots of stuff here. I uh, know. Uh, just make it with a flavor it's funny yeah, it's, it's just so funny all right so anyway so what is this thing <laughs> anyway so uh we can use some red player here i don't know it's just like so yeah <laughs> frizzle and people are crazy these days
why they're crazy i don't know i don't know man anyway so uh yeah so this is let's player and here we go okay let's uh scale it up a little bit we need some glow there we go this one is disturbing me so just go here i think uh disabling this will work pretty fine here yep okay fine that's good so you need lots of stuffs okay so i'm just uh, you know giving you the demo here so here we go so this is our last fair and uh, that's it so uh, uh for further uh information um i'm going to upload uh some more stuffs how to create presets how to change presets how to save presets so um okay let me demonstrate something suppose you need some more elements you can just copy any of these elements any of these elements at control c and control v it will paste uh instance so control press control and join it and uh use uh your flavor and just you know remove animation on all parameters and uh, then uh you can uh, do lots of stuffs uh do whatever you want to do you know so yeah oh we already have some caustic so not needed uh what we can do here is mm okay let's use an star so yeah we can use a star threshold low distance You know, do whatever you want to do. Not a problem. So you can you can uh, you know, adjust your stuff here. Yeah, something like that. You can even poly count. You can let me show you what is poly count is. It's pure stars. Okay. Damn fine. So yeah, you can uh, overglow it whatever you want to do <coughs> do it that's it then save it okay save it and yeah that's how you can you know create your stuff so yeah enjoy and uh, i'm father sympathy from cg virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye